okay Levin here, Eastern and it's myself and John with inspired buying video hello John good afternoon Stephen good afternoon to you and it's my turn to say it this week this is the second show we've done today uh coming <laughs> from Britain episode 203 this morning and this is the eighth episode of inspired buying video if you found us and you're watching live thank you if you haven't found us and you're watching the replay then during this uh show we actually share hints tips and tricks about in video show you example videos too and we, we always start off with a video by john which i'm going to bring up on screen now and there's the video i've just got my fingers crossed john we'll explain why later in the show um okay i'm going to switch my camera off now do you want to go picture in picture not really um there is a voiceover on this there's a bit of an echo on the voiceover one day i'll get this crack i think i'll have to buy a mixer like somebody said but right. this is about creating a video and um from just text and introducing how you do it and how you animate it. So, far away, Stephen. Off we go. Okay, I'm going to create a video today, but this video is going to be made entirely of text. So I'm going to start from scratch. I'm going to select 16 by nine and start a project. Okay, so I want to create something a little bit different from the default. So the first thing I'm going to do is look at layers. Now layers help me see what there is on the screen and also help me go to the various things. So if I go to logo, I don't want a logo on this, so I'm going to hit delete. I now want to change my background and I need to unlock the background. Now I can go to edit, go to colors and I want a white background. Okay, that's been also saved. So now I'm going to go to my text and again I need to edit that. So I'm going to put my words in first. Now all of this video is going to be in capitals because I want it easy to read because it's going to be pretty quick. So what I want to do is change my text initially and the first line of my text is do you need. Hey, you can't see anything. So let's go to colours and hit white. And we'll have a hit black, sorry. And yep, now we can see it. Now I like my text to be a bit fatter. I'm very happy actually with the sans serif font. So I'm going to click bold and then make it black so it's good and strong. And I'm also going to just up the text size a little to 150. So that is my first scene and we can preview that. And as you can see, it's not very exciting at all. So what I want to do now is duplicate that scene. And you'll see we now get a picture of how the scene looks initially. Um, and I'm going to come onto here now and make sure I'm on the right one with the green round the edge. Um, and I want to alter my text. So it was do you need and now it's going to be more busyness. And if we hit save and again you can see we need to make that a bit bigger. And then I want to again position that in the middle. I must say this is one of the things that I often seem to struggle with. But once you've mastered it, it's 
you know, easy enough to do. It's just dragging it right into the right place. Okay, I saved my law business so that we're there. And now I want to do something different. Now, you could actually fill this box with colour and you can animate it. But I want to have a consistent box because as you change the text, the background box changes size to match the text. So I'm going to go over to Shapes. Um, I'm going to go to Solids. I don't want a fancy 3D. I simply want a box this big. So again, I'm going to make sure that it's big enough to cover everything. And then I'm going to make it a little, little longer. Okay, and again I can oops, and scroll up so that now I know my box is, box is centred over the top of my text. Now if I go back to layers you can see that I've got element one but in fact I want that behind the text. So you can see that by dragging the layers, you can change their size. I'm going to click on the text More Business. And you can also see it's up front because it's got a green line around it. I'm going to edit it because I need to change the colour. So I'm going to select the text colour as white. Hey presto. So now I've got two scenes. Um, I can preview the scene we're in and I can nip up to preview and hey presto I've got a, a little uh, little video now I actually know that there are 13 scenes in my video so what I'm going to do is alternate these so I'm going to duplicate that, bring that to there, I'm going to duplicate this because what I'm going to do is alternate um, black on white and white on black so uh, it's going to take a, a, a little moment but not too long so, um, I need to, oops, I wanted to click on duplicate, so duplicate that, and again, going to drag that behind, so I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, and I need to do this until I've got 12. So what I'm going to do now is duplicate this one. Move it, duplicate this one, move it, duplicate this one, drag it to the end. So I've now got nine, so I need to duplicate this one. And 10. So I need to do another two. Duplicate. Yes. Now you could do this as you go, but I find this gives me um, a good, consistent approach. Now there are 13 scenes but I'm only going to create 12 of these alternates and then I'll do the last one right at the end. So I'm going to go back now and I'm going to put my different texts in. So I'm now going to go to scene three and I'm going to change the text. And I can do, you need more business. And then I'm going to say video. Save it. 
Then I'm going to get chain four. Um, and again, I want to edit the text. So I need to select the text. And again, I've used the layers to do that. Visit so video, and then I'm going to type gets results. Save that. Go to the next one. And again, because it's the only thing on here, it defaults to the text. So all I'm going to have on this one is get. So we'll run through it all in a minute. I'm going to save that change. Video gets results get. I'm going to here. And again, I need to be on the more business. Edit. And then I'm going to put your, go to the next, and again, free, save that. Again, I need to swap, so go to more business and edit. So my last one was free. And my next piece of text here is yes with an exclamation mark. Save that. Go to the next scene. And I'm going to turn this into for free. I'm going to save that. I'm going to go to scene 10. And again, I need to be on the text, edit, and I'm going to turn this into just click. And again, I'm going to save that. Go to the next scene, and our link. Okay, go to more this one, again, layers, more business, text, and on here, I'm going to put my name of my business. Now, this is the only bit where I'm going to use some lowercase, yeah, um, because this is the how my uh, business logo and business name is styled so it's think in capitals and and do in lowercase okay and then underneath that I'm going to put video whoops video commercials Now, that's pretty massive, so what I'm going to do is come here, unlock the font, and I'm going to take it down to something like 60, and close the box up, and again, I'm going to center that. actually think I could get her away with... Oops. A bigger font let's try 72 okay and I'm pretty happy with that but I've told a move man I really need to tell him how to contact me so I'm going to duplicate this scene okay so on this again I need to go to the text edit so here I'm going to change this to say call 0121-682-6898 and then I'm going to put www.thinkanddo.co.uk and I'm going to give them an email address to action at think 
and do.co.uk. Where's my K? Okay, so now we've got thinkanddo.co.uk. So that's been saved. So what I'm going to do is very quickly preview that. obvious thing is it's slow. Yeah? So, I'm going to stop watching it now and I'm going to come back and make a couple of changes. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is get rid of the default transition. So, I'm going to do that. Remove the default transition. And I'm going to do that on all of the videos. So I've got nine of these to knock out, but it will make, sorry, ten of them to, a number of them to knock out, but it will make a difference to the speed because there is no transition in the middle and the transition adds a second to each one so it will speed it up for us but I don't think it's going to speed it up enough so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to cut the durations to 1.5 on each one oh I missed a transfer and so working backwards I'm just going to change the transitions to one point the, sorry the durations to You'll notice that some of them were uh, already set at different things and that's based on the text and blocks etc default. Yeah, not far off now and we'll have it done. So what we're doing here is just speeding the whole thing up to make it a bit crisper. I've done all of those and hopefully that's now saved and let's preview it again. reasonably happy with that but it's a bit boring isn't it so let's think about how we can improve it to make it a little less boring so I'm going to go onto this and I'm going to add some animation now I could add it coming in but on this one uh, yeah text uh, I'm going to select character because I want to add some character animation yeah um, I'm going to then 
select what style of character animation it is, and I'm going to have it shift in from the left. Um, and so we'll put shift in from the left, and I'm going to make the animation just a, a fraction shorter. So I'm going to make it 1.4. And if we preview now, again, you, you didn't see it so good there, but when the whole thing is assembled, it will slow it down a bit, um, and you will see there. So we've done some animation on that. Let's look at animating our box. Yeah, so we'll go to Layers, Element 1, Edit, and what we'll do is we'll add an in. And what I want to do is I'm going to have it zoom in. Yeah. And we're going to zoom in from out. And again, I'm going to knock the animation up just a little bit longer. So if we preview that. Um, it's quite nice. Let's go back to layers. Let's edit our text and let's do something with the text. So let's animate the text. Um, I'm going to keep it to whole this time um, and I'm going to make it fade in. So if I click my preview again, there. So what I'm going to do now is quickly continue down them all. Um, and add ins. I'm not going to take them out. Um, I'm going to make it slide in from the left. And then I'm going to go to the next one. And I'm already in the box, so let's add some animation to that. Um, in, and what I want to do is have it slide in um, from the bottom. So I have slime to the bottom. I'm going to click quickly now on to get results. I'm going to animate that and again whole and I'm going to have that slide in from the top. Okay and now I can preview that and do the next one. I want this one to slide in from the right. Oh, I've missed the slides. As you can see, though, there's lots and lots of different effects that you can do. There's the slide, and I want it to slide in from the right. Okay, and let's quickly add some animation to here. Um, We'll slide in from the left. Yeah, we'll select the text animation to that hole and we'll have that slide in from the right. Now I'm just randomly picking these. Um, you know, they may not be quite right, but the idea is to show you that you can add some interest uh, just simply by doing the different effects that are available. Um, let's, um, got none on that one, what should we do? Uh, fade, let's fade it in from the left. Again, um, I'm gonna fade that one in from the left, so it's similar to the previous one. the left um, and the box I'm going to have come down from the top so slide in from up okay and I'll just quickly now run through and add animation to the rest of these not necessarily the best looking animation but we'll uh, just get something happening to it. Bouncing from the left. Animation. 
blood in from the bottom. I didn't add any animation to the text, did I? No, I'm not so I have that uh, fade in from the left. And we'll quickly get these done. And uh, I'm going to add a fade in from the right. And I'm going to add. Now, with this one, I want to keep this fairly simple. And I'm actually not going to put any animation on any of it at all. The same applies for the next one. So now I can go and preview. And I've got a much more interesting video. Right, the extra noise that you could hear. And that's it, really. It's from John. Over to you, John. Oh, I don't know what the extra noise was. My microphone was turned off. So, uh, right, okay. You well, can probably I, I, hear I, me breathing on it. <laughs> you could hear something in the background. Jason, I hope you've got sound now. Um, yeah, that, that was good. Uh, as in all your videos, I actually learned something. Um, but just just on a practical point of view, uh, could you actually have done that on one scene? With bringing in You could have, but you would have lost timings. control of it. Right. So many right. elements in a single scene. Right. Okay. All good. Yeah. You could easily have done that in a single scene, but you've got all those elements. You know, you you just end up losing control of them. Right. Ooh. I'm just, just you've disappeared, that. Stephen. I'm just leaving it like that for a moment because I want to uh, screen capture. Well, you screen captured it, but I want to show it in the video too. And I'm back. Okay. Right. Now the show's nearly over, but before we go, yeah. So you could have done that single one. Yeah. That's only half past. Right. Okay. Now it's my turn. So I'm going to switch John's camera off and bring up a video and go picture in picture. Okay, and I'm going to start the video. Now, in this video, we're actually just looking at the effects that are available within in video that you can use on any of your videos. We're going to take a look at effects and I've pulled up a new scene and we'll show you how to do that in the course. And I've also uh, got over the effects. And just for your information, the scene uh, is a National Trust property near to me, which we'd like to go and visit. So this is effects and the effects confetti. And if I click on the effect, it will add it to the screen and I can then preview it. So add the effect and preview. So you can also hear, well, I can hear sound. So that's the first effect. Now I'm not going to go through all the effects, but if I go back to edit that scene, I can remove the last thing I added by going to the delete button and then I can scroll down to another effect, which I'm going to add, and let's see what effect that has. Okay. Adds a certain something to the scene. So I go back to editing the scene and we can remove the last thing that was on. So that's confetti. Entertainment. Um, Okay, if we put entertainment overlay on, 
and preview that. Then that's obscuring, well, it's entertaining, but it's obscuring the whole picture. So do experiment with the overlays. I go back to edit the scene and delete the overlay. And we get back to the original photograph. And fireworks, depending on the time of year. And we'll bring the fireworks in. And again, we can actually preview what the fireworks look like. Okay, not too effective on this scene, but I can imagine that there would be on others. So, stop the scene and go and put that in the bin. Now, the thing with all these effects is you can try them out. Uh, grunge, you can try out all the grunge effects that you like. Let's just try one at random and we'll go with that one. And preview. Okay, it has a certain something. I'm not sure that uh, I would include it in my final video, but there you go. And <laughs> I'm going to remove that effect and leave grunge alone, I think, and go on to uh, light leaks, which are rather innovative, if I could say the word. And I'm going to pick this one and I'm going to preview it. Okay, so that's light leaks. Again, you can experiment with those. I'm just removing it. Uh, powder explosion. I've used quite a few of these. These are quite effective. If I just bring that one in and preview, then a powder explosion just, well, it just is. And to this particular picture, it adds a certain something because you've got to sort of Yes, it adds to the, uh, what can I say, the ambience. Um, so again, edit the scene and take off the last one. So powder explosions I quite like to use in the right setting. Retro, you can actually go and you can pick a retro theme, add it to your broadcast and press preview. And again, we get the whirring as it prepares. And... Uh, it's edging the scene again it adds a certain something uh, rather than just looking at the plain bridge so edit and take over to the bin where everything goes that we don't need smoke again another effective way we can bring smoke into the scene and i was clicking on it to add it and then go preview and it will repeat over the scene. I think that adds something, that adds an air of mystery about the place. This is Stourhead in Wiltshire in England. This is an archway. So back to edit the video, remove the smoke. And the next one is snow. Now we have been to Stourhead in winter, so we'll have some falling snow and uh, preview. Now that looks quite natural. Um, I swear the snow is actually sticking to the ground. So edit the scene, remove the effect. And the final effect that you can actually have is a sports effect. And there are several here. I'm just going to pick one at random just to give you an idea. And this may or may not work. So hold on to your seats. Let's have a look. Okay, I'm not sure of the effect there. Uh, I prefer the smoke. I've got to go with the smoke. So I'm going to end that and I'm going to take that off um, and go back. So in summary then, you've got confetti, entertainment, fireworks, grunge, light leaks, powder explosions, retro, smoke, snow and sports. As with all things, experiment. If it adds to your video, then use it. If it doesn't, then go and look at something else. I'll see you in the next lecture.
seem to have lost Stephen's right, sound. Okay, I'm back now. I, I, I love the snow effect, Joe. Uh, it simply works. It works quite well, depending on, on the photograph. Right. Okay. Uh, so that's for the Udemy course and his review of the effects. And as the course is going to be free, then I felt free to show it now. And Kelly is saying uh, nice or Nick. Nice. <laughs> that was nice. Okay. Um. Right, okay, so we've done two things today. We've actually, uh, John's put together a full lesson looking behind the scenes in creating a text video. And uh, we've had a look at the effects that are available to everybody when you use in video. Um, and, well, what should we do now? Oh, uh, I've noticed some of the people we know have been putting up their videos. I see you. Uh... Kevin put a video up yesterday that was quite interesting. Uh -huh. um, I think it's in support of some of the services that he's offering. Oh, brilliant. Okay. Well, we said we'd get him back in a couple of weeks, so we can uh, yeah. we can do that. But we need uh, other people to come and have a chat with us. Um, yeah. We keep asking the guys from the video, and you say, yeah. But we haven't yet got a date from them, no. so we have to chase that up. No, as I said earlier, they're, they're used to recorded video. They're not sort of, sort of in the live arena yet, and we've got to coax them and drag them, kicking and screaming probably, uh, into the live video arena, um, which we will do. I've no doubt that will happen eventually. Um, okay. Now, you, we've used video promo, well, promotionally for adverts and what have you, but that's not the only use. So before we go, I've got one final video, uh, which is by way of an announcement as well. Uh, we ran a poll in the Belivers group this week, and these are the results of the poll in video form. Okay, so I'm going to switch John's camera off for a second. And I'm going to bring the video up. I'm definitely going picture in picture this time, perhaps that way around. Um, and well, that's not working either. I've disappeared. Bring me back. Okay, you'll have to listen to me. <laughs> oh, good. Uh, let's play the video. Can I play the video? I hope so. I don't know. I don't know whether I can or not. Um, let's take it off for a minute. Okay, I'm going to try and bring it up again. Uh, right, I think it's time to take that video off. <laughs> and I don't know what's happening here, John. John, come back. Uh, um, yeah. I've, I've no idea what's, what's happening uh, with that. I'll take the video off and I'm going to try. Interesting. You were picture in picture size behind that when you took that off. And then yeah. you went up full size. Yeah. Right. Okay. Let's just buy try and bring in that full screen so this is the poll results uh and let's play uh show promotion green screens repurposing live shows camera confidence conducting interviews were the top five options voted for two, two suggested by Mark. And this is the program for next week, Monday the 25th, 3 p.m. GMT, 10 a.m. Eastern, show promotion. Tuesday is repurposing live shows. Wednesday is camera confidence. Thursday is conducting interviews. And Friday is green screens. And if I've timed that right, that should be the end of the video. Yeah. I've got something right. Yes. <laughs> okay, a voiceover that worked. Kelly's saying that uh, he made two videos this week just for fun. We're more than happy to, to have those on the show. And uh, was also saying Christmas party indications. Well, there you go. Video was. Ooh. Yeah. It's about that time of year when we, we do should start making 
Christmas invitations. So if you've got some samples, I've, Kelly, let us I've know. Sent yeah. about Thanksgiving first, haven't I? They have, yes, yes. It's uh, Thanksgiving next Thursday, Black Friday a week on the week tomorrow. Um, Black Friday crazy. seems to be seems to be a eight day event now. <laughs> well, well, yeah, it's already started, and then of course you've got you've got Cyber Monday as well. Yeah. Um, so well, that's yeah. even better, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Right. Okay. Uh, I've still got more videos, but we'll save them until until next week. John, it's over to you. Oh, um, what am I going to say? It's you that does the exit on this one. Um, but okay. yeah, I'll do it on the other one. Um, right. Anyway, okay. thanks to the 466 people who watched us last week and on the replays. We look forward to you joining us sometime in the future. And we hope for breaking the 500 barrier in the near future. Indeed we so do. Stephen's going to say goodbye for us now. Over to you, Stephen. Right, okay. It's goodbye from Wiltshire in England. Goodbye from Solihull, which is in the Midlands. We'll see both see you next week, same time. And uh, thank you for joining us today, Kelly. Thank you for your comments. And thank you to Joe for his comments. And thank you to uh, Jason as well. Hope you could hear us in the end, Jason. Uh, take care, everybody. And we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.